Hey everybody, this is Video Gamer and Blog. Video Gamer and Blog. And today, we're starting Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. So, um, I've already started the game not too far in, and I'm just about to pick my starter. And, um, you know, everything's fine. If you want to see my trainer card, it's on the bottom screen. I'm sorry. But I just na named myself Gold, just so I wouldn't have to pick a nickname for myself. So, um, I really don't know which one I'm going to go with. I kind of want to go with Cyndaquil. So I'm going to go with Cyndaquil then. Uh, I actually just spent a long time thinking about it before, and I was just like, whoa, I, I don't really know which to go with, but... Um, I think I know what I'll name him. Uh, let's name him... Um... Flamethrower. No, 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 no. Very... We need... Bleh, I don't really know what to name him. Oh... To... B. I'll name him... The Flame. I'm just kidding. I'll name him Tobuscus. Just in honor of Tobuscus, because well, everybody loves Tobuscus. There we go. There's Tobuscus. I don't even know if I spelled it right. I probably just didn't spell it right. I'm sorry. I'll change it when I get to the um to the nickname rate the nick ra nickname raider. Sorry. It's my first walkthrough, and I've never really done a walkthrough before, so sorry if it's horrible. Alright, let's change it to fast. I have the, uh, setup pretty down, though. Alright, so this guy will stop you, and he'll be like, Gold, I want you to have these to help you out with your task. Obtain... So he'll give you some five potions, and, you know, you know that's pretty nice. You never really got a potion boost back in the other games. Alright, so there's, uh, Lyra, and she's like, hey, what's going on, Gold? So you picked a thing to quill. That's a cute Pokemon you have. When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You you should turn around and talk to it sometimes. I was just like, what? I was thinking, like, whoa. She'll, so she'll run off, and you can't, you know, through this book. Like, you can talk to your Pokemon, and it'll just go, oh, there's a leaf. Ah, dance around. And that's really it, you know. It's not everything it'll say, but that's one of the things it says. It says it's a ton of stuff. You can, it actually in, interacts with the environment you're in. Like, if you're in a place... Like, if you're in the water, if you run around, like, the very edge of the water, it'll go, like... it'll. If it's fire, it'll probably dislike the water, and it'll say that. So no matter what you pick, she's like... She always tells you, she's like, I'm, wow, I can't believe it's so easy to make a farm girl. Pa -da -pa. Sponsor. Right. A little bit from everything, really. I really don't know what time the video, how long a video is, because then I'll have to do this, and I'll hit the camera, so it's been three minutes. Yeah, so, he'll register, register you. And he's freaking annoying. Like every phone call you get from him, you ha it'll like stop you and it'll make you pick it up. So that won't be very cool, but who cares? So this is route. I think this is route one. Oh my god, my it's dumb dog Josie. I hate is barking. All right, so just head up through this route. I recommend you battle all the. Uh, Trainers and wild Pokemon. Well, trainers later in the game, I'll be showing all of them. Probably sped up, though, to conserve time. Right, so, uh, I recommend you battle all of these wild Pokemon in the first couple, you know, of minutes of the game. So, Buckus. I am so sorry. But, you know, we'll have to carry on with that nickname for the rest of the time unless I get to the name raider. I don't even remember where he is. 
Alright, so I'm gonna knock out this Pidgey. You just I I advise you to battle all of these. Oh my god! You do not want to have a dog like Josie. He's the most annoying po I almost said Pokemon. He's the most uh, annoying dog you could possibly have. He bickers with the other dogs. He barks all the freaking time. He bites you whenever you get near him. He nudges you whenever you're doing something. It's just an all-around pain in the ass. Alright, so. So this is the guide gent who'll give you the uh, running shoes. Eventually, because he's just like, Oh my god, you don't have shoes? It's illegal to run without shoes. So he's like, try keeping up, because I'm too fast for you, even though I'm an old man. Alright, so. Apparently it's illegal to run. Or you can't run in the Pokemon world without running shoes. Alright, so. He just shows you where everything is. The water looks kind of weird when I record it. It looks like a, like a really light blue. So does everything else. It looks kind of different. I'm recording at night, so it's not really... I'll probably be recording more during the weekends and sort of less during the week, because, you know, I don't really have too much time to be playing around with this, so... It'll give you the running shoes, and you can just... You can run around now, so I think we're gonna end it off here, because I've already done a lot of stuff, so next time on Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, we're probably gonna head up there, well, we're going to go up there and meet Mr. Pokemon, so see you guys later. Okay, now I'm gonna end it.